Brian from Colorado Cultures here. Just wanted to show you uh, what our tanks look like after we've harvested our mushrooms and what to do next. So your tank should kind of look like this. So you'll see that all the mushrooms have been picked. There are some kind of dead mushrooms left. That's okay. We are gonna kind of pick a couple of those off, but I'm gonna show you that in a second. And then we had our all-in-one kit. This guy was a little different. So we picked them. Now we're gonna let this one soak a little bit and then we're gonna pour off the water in just a wee bit and then we're gonna give it a recasing. So yeah, let me show you that process starting now. So you're gonna to wanna to go get some really cool tap water. With our full flush kit, we're gonna give it just a really aggressive spray. But what I want, I got you. What I'm going to want to do is put on some gloves real quick. Let's put on a pair of gloves and with a little bit of some alcohol that I have on the side. I'm going to make sure they're nice and sterilized. Let's wipe it around. So make sure. All right, we're misting good there. Okay, so we're going to want to mist very heavily. So the full flush kit, that's how I like to do the flush, at least the first flush. On our all-in-one kit, we're gonna do something a little bit different. Basically, we're gonna take same cold tap water and we're gonna pour it all over our substrate. Get that guy out of there, let's see. Gonna get down on the edges a little bit. Don't want to pour too much. You don't want it to kind of kind of start floating. You almost want the water to soak in. So once I pour it on, I kind of move it around a little bit. Just to make sure it gets all in those creases and everything. And we're gonna leave that, you know, about half an hour to an hour. Not too long. The longer you leave it, the more soggier it gets, and it can kind of break up when you're trying to get the water off. So all right, we're gonna let that guy chill out for a little bit. And then when we come back, we're gonna take our Denver dirt and we're basically gonna case our tanks and show you how we do our second flush. So we'll see you in one second. Hi, welcome back. Brian from Colorado Cultures here. So it's been about 30 minutes to about an hour. Uh, we have our all-in-one kit that we had soaking, as you can see. It's nice and nice and soggy looking. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to drain the excess water out. And that's what our little cup here is for. So, but I have a fun way of doing it. So with the tank, the other tank that it comes with, what we do is we clean the back end like this. So basically we'll take the lid off. We're going to want to set it down like that. And we basically, that gives us a way where we can hold our substrate and still be able to pour. So, just like that. You can see a little bit of the casing came off in the water. That's actually a really good thing because we're actually going to come back and recase our substrate okay so it's nice and drained take that guy now we discard this and go wash it we're going to be using that in about another week or two okay we're also going to put our water down here so we don't make a mistake take this guy back real quick set that on there i'm going to get some gloves on Gonna get into our Denver dirt and we're gonna use that as a casing. So the cool thing with our substrate, our Denver dirt, is it has such a low nutritional manure content that you can use it as a substrate. It's great for that, multiple flushes, 
but you can also use it as a casing layer in thinner layers. So we always like to say it's a dual purpose substrate. So, and I just wanted to mention too, that we do use cold tap water because we want to keep the metabol metabolism of any competing contaminants down. And we use tap water because it's antibacterial in case there's any bacterial competitors as well. So just want to let everybody know that's why we do recommend using cold tap water when you're flushing. It's very important. I'm using it for years. It's the way I've done everything and it everything turns out pretty pretty well for us. So kind of just spray our timber dirt here, get this guy open down here get my scissors clean them bad boys off okay all right now we're going to reach in here and take a little bit of our timber dirt and we're going to take just a very thin layer over both our full flush and our all in one. So, Now with this one, let's look at it like this. I'm gonna open up our lid. If you see any creases, like on the side, take a little bit of your Denver dirt, and you're just gonna want to put it right in there, as so, filling in any creases that might have formed with the shrinking of your substrate. Now we're going to put a 1 8 layer over the top, spread it nice and even. It's really nice patting it down. Just a little more. Okay. Now we're going to take our bottle, which is filled with cold tap water. Going to spray the surface very well, like it just rained. You know, mushrooms always like to come out when it rains, right? And then on the same one, just give it a nice little spray. Help those mushrooms come on up. Shut your tank. So that's how you're gonna rehydrate your substrate. Check back in one week and we'll see the results of what happened. See you soon. One week later. Ooh, holy moly, it's been one week. Well, let's take a look at our tanks. So this is gonna be our full flush over here. I mean, if you can't see them, why don't you take a little bit better look? All right, now let's check out our all-in-one kit. Like I did mention, wherever the mushrooms didn't grow, they are going to start to grow now. So you can see we got a lot more pin development in all the other spots. And these will get just as big as the other ones, maybe even bigger because we're on our second flush. So. But that's what your tanks should look like after you rehydrate them and you give them their second flush. Now you just continually do this until mushrooms don't come up and that's all, that's it. So that easy. We'll see you next week for our next video. Thanks.